This video is brought to you by Dashlane. So out of my body's five basic senses, I tend to assign the most economic value to that of sight. After all, without it, I couldn't do many of the things that I enjoy, including making goofy videos like this. I couldn't read books, I couldn't write, use a camera, edit on a computer, or perhaps most importantly, see the faces of those I love, or the innocent smile of a newborn baby. Yes, without sight, my life would be much, much different. I owe a lot to my eyes, I use them every day, and yet I know very very little about how they work. The same is probably true for you too. For instance, unless you're in the medical field or a biology student or some Wikipedia reading know-it-all, you probably don't know the various parts of your eyes and how those parts operate together to deliver an image to your brain. To put it simply, when an object enters into your visual range, the available light bounces off of it and enters into your eyes. There it passes through the cornea, pupil, and iris to your eye's lens, which then reflects the light onto your retina, a layer of tissue in the back of your eyeball that contains over 100 million light-sensitive cells. The light hits these cells and triggers nerve impulses that pass through the optic nerve to arrive at your visual cortex located in the back of your brain, and here the visual image is formed. All of this happens instantly. You can think of it like an organic form of the mechanical operation of a camera, where light passes through several filters and a lens before hitting a sensor which produces an image. In that same way, when light passes through your human eye, your eye's lens causes the image to be inverted when it hits your retina. This upside-down image is what goes to your brain, and it's your brain's job to sort the image out so that you perceive it right side up. That's right, even at this very moment, your eyes are sending an upside-down image to your brain. So while technically you actually see everything upside down, your brain has naturally developed to correct for this, so that in your mind, the image appears right side up. In fact, it's believed by many that infants actually spend their first few weeks with inverted vision as their visual cortex slowly yet surely develops to properly interpret the information coming from their eyes. That's led several scientists to ask a very sciencey question. If our brains are constantly interpreting inverted images, can we hack our brains to see upside down? In the 1890s, George Malcolm Stratton, an American psychologist, pioneered the study of perception in vision by experimenting with a special pair of glasses that flipped the wearer's world upside down, literally, inverting the image up and down and left and right so that everything the wearer saw was flipped and flopped. This meant that the test subject's brain would need to train itself to interpret the image correctly. Other scientists, including James Gibson and Theodore Erisman, also ran experiments where mirrored glasses were placed over a subject's eyes and they were asked to go about their day as the men documented whether the human brain could figure out how to make sense of an upside-down world. Test subjects naturally struggled in the immediate aftermath of donning the glasses. Simple tasks like writing their names or solving a maze were essentially impossible. The brain struggled to make sense of up, down, left, and right, and attempting to integrate the inverted seeing with the inverted moving caused mixed signals for otherwise routine motor skills. If you want to see a bunch of YouTubers struggle to do menial tasks with upside-down vision, check the links in the description. Like in the experiment, even after wearing the glasses for several hours, test subjects struggled to function, dealing with nausea and scrambled senses. But Stratton, Gibson, Erisman, and others found that after wearing the upside-down glasses for a couple of weeks, subjects' brains adjusted so that they could function and operate normally. In essence, the brain taught the body how to interpret and function when everything in its visual range was upside down. Imagine flipping your vision and then being told to ride a bike or write a letter or pour a cup of coffee. Turns out, in less than a month, your brain would likely be able to adapt to the new environment. Of course, once the experiment was over, test subjects had to take the glasses off, and this presented a new problem. Their brains needed to adjust back. Luckily, within a day, most subjects' sense of sight returned to normal. This, in return, helped scientists to narrow down which parts of the visual cortex are trained to interpret spatial and directional awareness, and how that information is sent to the rest of the body. So yes, it is possible for you to hack your brain to see upside down, but let's be honest, the glasses they look pretty goofy to wear around all day, so really what's the point? 
All this information, of course, helps to drive home the real existential question that humans grapple with every day. Namely, can you really believe what your eyes are telling you? Hacking your brain might be cool, but you know what? Like, isn't cool? Someone hacking your online accounts. That's why this video's sponsor, Dashlane, provides a tool to generate strong passwords to ensure your online security. And right now, you can go to dashlane.com slash Austin McConnell to get started. Dashlane's basic plan is free and lets you manage up to 50 passwords for life. But leveling up to premium gives you awesome features like unlimited password storage synced across all of your devices and a VPN for safe and secure web browsing. You can start a 30-day free trial of premium by visiting the link in the description, but the first 200 people to use the promo code Austin McConnell at checkout will get 10% off Dashlane Premium for a whole year. There's no reason to delay. Get secure today.